play, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. We cracking a beer? Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Cheers to episode twenty-four. Yep. Episode twenty-four. 24. What do you got? I've got the uh, the goat hazy IPA. So I've got black. You got hops, a hazy IPA. Black hot. You're gonna hate that. I know I will. A hazy is like what I drink. It's a fucking amazing looking can. It is a, oh, it is a slick looking can. It is good. You can try it after this. The one. hazy IPA is hazy is what I drink. I know. This is a West Coast Indian pale ale. Monkey Brewing Co. down in Margaret River, mm. I believe. Ooh, that is strong. Is it? Smell it, mate. Give it a sniff. Yours is 6.5%. Yes. <laughs> it smells the same. It does. I think mine smells a little... Mm, I don't know. Let's have a sip sip. Made by three mates on the Gold Coast, apparently. Okay, fruity. It's one of those ones where if I had a couple of beers... Incredibly fruity, that one. If I had a couple of beers, I wouldn't mind sinking one of those. Completely different taste. Oh, yours fucked. Really? Gross. I'm really enjoying this. Well, enjoy fucking off too. Anyway. Welcome back to the potty. PG fucking Melling. Josh underscore Michael33 right here. You really need to work on your Instagram tag, I think. Actually, yeah, well, I've tried to... Josh underscore Michael33 is pretty... It's it's fucking pretty bad. I used to have... What did I have first? Probably some sort of Severe thing. Severe like, and crippling depression. Well, that's like, just we've, goes, we've both been there. That so. goes without saying. <laughs> I, I, I think it was like Josh underscore, probably Josh underscore Melling 77 or some shit like that. And it was Josh Melling with two H's. I do remember that. And then you had another one too that was weird. Do you remember your private account? What did you have on that? It was X Games no, mode? Yeah, now now it's just damning on X Games mode. I never. It's just deleted basically. Yeah. Um. But it used to be PG Melling, and then that's what I changed. I was like, I actually kind of like this name, so I just put it as my, my main account name, Fair. so it's PG Melling. I used to have a private Instagram account. Yeah. Do you remember when private Instagram accounts were like a huge, huge thing? Yeah. yeah. I, now, I, I, honest, I had one, and I never used I'm it. I'm low-key thinking about just deleting all my photos on my private Instagram, and then just making it a PT account. Yeah. Um, or just deleting it, and then just, you know. Or just make your main account your PT account. Because I haven't touched that need thing to have for it like, like, yeah. Oh, well, it depends. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But all I know is I haven't touched my freaking my private one. Well, they were huge. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, something. well, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. About two, three years ago, mm. everyone had a private account, and you always, when you're on the stalk for for baddies, you would like you know <laughs> go on their main account, and then you follow the yeah, private. Yeah, and you know? everyone would have a private, and it's like yeah, yeah. You're like oh, if you get on their private, you're like yeah, I'm on the private, and yeah. that's where they post their saucy pics. Kind of gay. But now they post it on OnlyFans, and you got to pay money for it. So it's tough out there. That's these streets, that's mate. what it, it is, is tough. Mate. It is. Can't factor OnlyFans into the budget. Mm. Um, Mate. How you been, buddy? How you been? I've been good. I've been all right. Um, flat out with work, as always. Yep. Um, really, there was nothing notable about the podcast to put on a TikTok. We're also just shit at making TikToks. We're also really need to get our shit together, period. But I'm I'm never saying period again. That's fucked. Well, I had this... I think I said this at the one of the earlier podcasts. Period. A bit like the painted nails, yeah. like period. Yeah. I hate the word knickers. Speaking of periods, I hate the word knickers. Like, it actually makes my skin crawl. Yeah, it does sound kind of like... Pedophiliac? Yes, I like, was about to say yeah. I didn't want to say it. Yeah, but no. if the girl was like, oh I'm my god, some... I'm going to pull my knickers down, yeah. or like something like that, I'd be like, bro, you're three years old. Yeah, like, like oh, I'm not wearing any knickers under this dress. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you should probably get that dress and get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, go ahead and take that sundress to the fucking moon. Kind of yeah, thing. I said someone said knickers the other day to me, and I was like... <laughs> Yeah, that's gross. <gasps> that's gross. It was an instant turn off. We don't say icks yeah. on this podcast, mm. all right? We don't say that. We say turn offs because we're mature adults. Same with like vagina. I don't like the word vagina. Coochie is is like is good. It's like it's a f- the PG sort of like. Yeah. It's a funny way of saying it. Yeah. I I think you just go for pussy. Yeah, but like, like in, in person it, though, in, in person you're not going to oh, be like, that's a good oh, vagina. like <laughs> he kicked me right in the pussy. You know, you yeah. like you say, you say coochie. He coochie kicked me. Yeah, that, that's got a good ring to it, mate. Mm. You just come up with something new. Yeah. Yeah. Clip that coochie. <laughs> he coochie, just got coochie kicked. kicked. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's same with like I hate the word orgasm. Makes me feel orgasm, funny. Orgasm. Even climax sounds. Climax. Too, climax sounds, sounds creepy. Yeah. It does. Climax is like I'm about to climax. Oh my god, I'm about to peak. I'm gonna climax. It's if just someone. Just say come. If someone said I'm about to climax. If a guy says orgasm, that is fucked. Yeah, I'm about to orgasm. If he's not about to orgasm or climax as a guy, you're a fucking 
you, there's something wrong in yeah, the head of yours. Yeah, there's no, a screw loose. There's something wrong there. If someone, if I, if I was ever having a sexual interaction, and some uh, the girl was like, "I'm about to climax," the session to climb out of this ceasing. bed, brother. <laughs> climb out of that vagina. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh god, mate. Put my clothes back on and get in my car. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm strapping in and strapping off. <laughs> um, so, mate, the uh weekend just gone has been one to behold. Uh, as far as the F1 space has gone. Mm-hmm. First of all, great race. George Russell came on pole. Oh, I watched that on the plane. As soon as I got oh, off the plane, right. I pressed You play. went there. Yeah, I wasn't there, mate. Well, anyway, George Russell pole position was great. Surprising, um, out of the bag. Yeah. I watched Polly. I, did I was watch kind Polly. of perplexed as to why Mercedes decided, yep, soft tyres to start. I got, I understood in a way, because you wanted to break, like, away from the Ferraris. Try to get um, out of them, yeah. But I just feel like you could have probably held their own on mediums. And I feel like their race pace is fucking pretty strong. Yeah, like obviously a few laps in, you might put be under a lot of pressure with Ferrari. But if there was ever a track to risk going on a slower tire, it'd be hungry because it's mm. much harder to overtake. And it usually takes about three laps for the tires to warm up for Mercedes. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Think about it. It's like three laps or so for the Ferrari to for the Mercedes to warm up their tires, and then like that's three laps of no DRS. So he's not going to get overtaken then. And then mm. after that, like the slowly Mercedes bring the mediums at the start. Anyway, yeah. that's why Hamilton finished second and Russell finished, what, third? Yeah. Third. Yeah, they got the second. So, third. But was, uh, historically speaking, Hungary is a bad track to overtake. But this year was um good. quite a change, man. Yeah. There was a lot of overtaking going. We got new, Rick the, with the double move on Alonso, uh, yeah. Alonso Ocon. That was, that was a great move. Ocon, so dirty with Alonso at the start. He probably knew he was going to Aston Martin. He probably knew he was going to Aston Martin. He was out of here. Yeah. So that, that still blows fucking wild. So Sebastian Vettel... Creates Instagram. As soon as he created the Instagram. Creates an Instagram yeah. posts, retiring. And I'm like, mint. Yep. Fucking very sad day. Well, he kind of, leading up to it, basically said, I don't want to be refighting for points. I want to be fighting for wins. Like, you don't want to be fighting for 10th position. And yeah. if, you, if you're a, is a four-time world champion, yeah. Mm. You, it's probably true. I almost feel like, though, after you've got your head around not fighting for wins anymore, fighting in the points would be so much more fun. Because yeah. it's a little bit less stressful. Yeah. If you're you fighting just... for wins and you're like, you know, you're on the edge every every week and you're the fucking headline and the attention. And this is like when you're past it. Like, you look at 2021, you, last year, Max and, oh, no, Max and Lewis. That would take a lot out of has to. your I don't even, general mood. I don't even, would. I don't think that those two could look back and say it was an enjoyable season last year. And the thing is, as well, is those two, if Hamilton gets given, like, or if Mercedes have a fast car for the second half of the season... I can't imagine the racing being respectful between them again. Like, I feel like we've had the respect of the start of the season, and Verstappen's still, he's clear he's going to win the championship. It's yeah. whatever, which I called at the start of the season, but it's whatever. It's because Ferrari fucked And Charles I also Leclerc. called Hamilton third and Leclerc second. So let's just keep an eye on that, right? No, nah, Hamilton's going to have Tate Leclerc. I reckon that Mercedes is quicker than the Ferrari. No, the Ferrari's quicker, but mm. Ferrari's just retarded. Ferrari on a, on a qualifying day, yes, race pace. The Mercedes was quicker than Ferrari. At Leclerc Hungary. was d- was doing enough to stay ahead of Hamilton though. Mm. Until Ferrari decided, until Ferrari to put him decided him on hard. yeah, let's put him on hard. Ferrari strategists need yeah. to fucking wake fucking up. Fucking retards. Um, so anyway, that happened. Verstappen won. Uh, great race from him. It was, it a was good race perfectly on. strategized by Red Bull. Hannah Schmitz, mate, the head of Red Bull's uh, she, strategy. Like, cause he's killing it. I was kind of looking forward to seeing Hamilton and Verstappen fight on track, but they pitted him before Verstappen got up to Hamilton. So I was like, ah, oh, well. It's unfortunate. Mm. Anyway, then fucking Alonso announces that he's going to Aston Martin. I didn't see that coming. Did personally. not see that coming at all. But it, it's because Alpine apparently offered him a seat, warmer seat for Piastri. They offered him a year next year, and then Piastri's coming. Yeah, in. but he's also he didn't forty-one. That. Well, that's but Alon- uh, Aston Martin have offered him multi-year yeah, deal. They offered him two years and an extension option. I was going to say he's got two um, extensions. And so then he was like, "Cool, I've got guaranteed thing in a comp in a like in a." team that's got more money and then i think alpine like obviously did not expect that and then they were like to to to, to scramble and make it look like they had their shit together they're like oh we'll just announce piastri piastri is like <laughs> hang on a second uh without my agreement without my, appears alpine without my consent my, i will not be driving for alpine yeah, he's we, cemented words though mate he I has like said, that, I he, will not be driving if there for is alpine. no guaranteed drive for him next year he's really burnt his bridge there i I'd, I think it's McLaren. 
And this I is think, what I, mm, I... I think Ricardo's either going back to Alpine or he's going to Alpha Tower. I think that Piastri's going to end up at Alpha Tower. He's going to play as Yuki Sonoda. But Yuki's doing all right now. He, I don't think he is, man. Yuki, to be fair, this Alpha Tower, this whole like crap. season has looked shit. Yeah, it's yeah. not looked competitive yeah, at all, which great. blows my mind. You've got Red Bull there with a competitive car. Just copy it. You're a sister company. Mm. But, um... Oh, see, part of me wouldn't like... Uh, Rick, Rick to go back to Alpine purely because of the memes. Left Renault to go to McLaren. Spent two years at McLaren. Now he's back at Alpine. Like there's no loyalty. But that car is quick. The Alpine is quick. That is a quick car, man. It is, and it looks better to drive than the McLaren does. Yeah, exactly. Something about the McLaren just looks like a boat to me. It I looks don't know like what a piece it is. Of shit. And I don't like the design of it either. No. Nah. They tried to pay homage to the Monaco Golf livery, and they just completely found a way to fuck it. Yeah. I hope Ricardo goes to. I don't think he. I kind of well. want him back at Alpine. I like want him at AlphaTauri or Alpine. I don't want him at Alpha. AlphaTauri would be the number one driver. Over him Gasly. and Gasly would be a good good combo. Yeah, and a competitive car there would be, but they're not competitive car at the moment. But you You've don't got know that. The McLaren's quicker than the AlphaTauri. The Alpine's quicker than the AlphaTauri. I dare say the Alfa Romeo is quicker than. I the reckon Alphatori. the AlphaTauri is closer to a McLaren than what it was. Yeah. Last year in terms of driving driving behavior, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that whole saga is unfolded, and we're just waiting to see some I'm confirmations. I'm waiting for the silly, the silly summer. It's going to be. Season, um, silly summer. I'm it's interested gonna... to see because I I do have a sneaking suspicion that that I reckon McLaren's going to buy out Rick, pay him his 25 million the US dollars, by the way, for the last year of his contract. Do um, Piastri and Norris. But I think Norris is going to leave McLaren. I think Norris is going to end up at Red Bull with Max. That's what I reckon. I reckon Norris will... I reckon they'll nah. keep Checo out. Not a chance. You don't reckon? Not a chance. Mm. See, I reckon in the next two years, he's either going to be... He's either going to replace the Red Bull second driver or Hamilton when Hamilton retires. And it might be a Norris uh, George at Lewis uh, Mercedes, which I, I'd like to see. I don't like Norris, but I think it would be a good partnership. Could be. Could be. Because what... what well, I don't know. Depends. If that Mercedes becomes dominant again and they're competitive, Hamilton might race for another two, three years, man. Because at yeah. the moment, I'd say Hamilton's driving above his 2021 level. He is driving superb, man. He The last few races, he's actually been driving like pretty fucking well, to be honest. And you've got to think about his comeback in the 2021 season when he was well down. He won three yeah. races in a row. That was a... That mm. comeback oh, dude. was <sighs> so good. I man. wish... I wish I was a neutral supporter. Yeah, but I hate, I hate, I hate Red Bull. I don't I hate Max. Hate, I, I hate, hate Horner. I hate. No, nah, see, I'm. I more hate Helmet. Helmet way more than I hate Horner. I don't like Horner, but I hate Helmet Marco. I just hate Red and Bull and Joss Verstappen. But I hate Red Bull in all aspects. I hate Red Bull in V8s as well. I hate Red Bull in yeah. terms of like the football team, Red Bull Leipzig. Like it's just, it's just the definition of insert abundance of cash. Hmm. And that's it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't like Red Bull. Um, in V8 supercars, it was like Roland Danes, the, um, the like, engineer there. Uh, and and he's a fuckwit too. Mm -hmm. And it's very much the same. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. Point being, keen for the second half of this season. A lot of good races. There's Belgium, Zandvoort, <laughs> Italy, like Monza. Um, fucking you like Singa Zandvoort. Singapore. I don't like Zandvoort. That's I actually be, might go watch the Singapore GP. That's going to be a boring race. Singapore would be good. I wouldn't mind watching that I one. I might go see. I might see. Japan as well. Yeah, Japan. And there's obviously Abu Dhabi, Brazil, mm -hmm. Mexico, USA. Bro, it's a good second half it's of the season. a good second half of the season. Yeah. It's going to be... I'm, I'm keen. Four weeks without F1, though. Yeah. Gonna, it's going to be Quite sad. a long time, mm. but, you know, you mm. gotta, you got to gotta put up with that sometimes. Yep. And we'll address the uh, hiatus of uploading from Wednesday, and that's because we're simply just going to upload when we want. We've we've made a pact because we've, we've basically said we want to give you a good episode... We're gonna film when we feel like we want to film, and we're gonna set ourselves. We're gonna we're gonna release once a week, when that is, we don't know. It could be this Sunday, and then the next month, like in the day later on the Monday. It could. It could if be. We feel like recording Tuesday one week, and then Saturday the next week. Yep. It's just whatever. So you get to watch it when you get to watch it, and I mean, and if you miss it, and then you get two episodes in a row. Exactly right. Yep. And we're doing the podcasts are doing good numbers. I've had a, I've had a, I've had some watching, and there's been a few people that I didn't think watched the podcast or watched the podcast. Yeah. Which is actually still crazy. It's Evan still even crazy said this. He's like, you have like silent watchers that you don't really know watch it, but they watch mm. it. So, yeah. There's people praying for our downfall. <laughs> and keep praying. Because we're just working. <laughs> been on that down slope for about two and a half years I'm now. I'm falling, brother. I'm yeah. falling. Um, yeah, look. 
So yeah, other than that. But this week was a bit screwed up because I uh, I went to Sydney. You did. I went to Sydney on the, the Thursday night. I flew out. Mm, I had a that? great time over in Sydney. Mm. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's great. It exceeded you, my expectations. Are you going back? Yes. End Fantastic. of August. Fantastic. End of August, I believe. Um, phenomenal place, actually. I really like. I really like the south of Sydney, or the the south south coast, as they call it over there. It's quite mm. a quite a nice place. Seen a wombat, and that blew my mind. I thought that you knew wombats existed. I thought wombats only existed in zoos. They don't. They're in fact wild. Are they creatures. like pretty abundant there, or is that Bro, still also I've like seen at or, least... was, or, or, or was like the person that you were with? Were they like, oh, wombat? Nah. So I seen at least four or five dead wombats on the side of the road, almost like kangaroos are over ah, here. That's what the wombats are over I there. I see. Like we're in suburbia. They're pretty big. Fucking chunky. Big chunky. You wouldn't yeah. want to hit one with your car. Jesus. We pulled into. I s- thought they were like hedgehog sized. Nah. We pulled into a street, man, and there was just one chilling on someone's front lawn. A wombat on someone's front lawn. Just chilling, like. It's kind of weird. It, it, it yeah. was weird. That's what I said. Do you know what, though? This is really irrelevant. Um, did you ever, when you. Have you been to Bali? No, I've never oh, been well, to that, Bali. That, that question ends there. Yeah. There's heaps and heaps. I don't know, like. Of wombats? Now. No, stray dogs, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard that story. But there's like. Like puppies, man. Like like, ten week old puppies walking around, and you you so desperately want to just grab one, and you can't because like they probably got rabies. Probably got rabies, you or you'll die. Yeah, of course. Instantly upon yeah. touching them. Um, no, true. Anyway, sorry to really just purposely nah. interrupt. Nah, so it was great weather over there as well. So Perth was raining, pissing down. Over there was beautiful weather. Went and seen the widest beach in the world, southern hemisphere of the world, Hyams Beach. Mm. Stunning. A lot of rich people. Houses worth meals. Um, it was great, mate. Mm. Really enjoyed my time over there. It's good. So yeah, we'll probably be going back. Gonna go to Western Sydney next time. I, d- I don't know. Trying you know, to meet depends, up one four. D- depends where she takes me. You know. Yeah. So fair enough. Yeah, but I came up, you know, talking to her, and we got. I came up with some questions I want to ask you. Yep. Or suggestions, maybe. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Actually, <laughs> no, I'm going to start. There was something funny that happened to me on the plane. Right? Yeah, you, you were going to tell me it's this. It's not a story. It it's just really quickly. Yep. So I'm sitting. So I booked my seat. And when I booked it, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a business member of Qantas. So I got the business, oh. got the platinum rewards. So I got the business class and all that crap. Wow. Um, I didn't, no, I don't get, I get the Explains business lounge. why it was a bullshit expensive flight that you took. I get business sorry. lounge, sorry. So I flew over and I booked my seat and it was the back right of the airplane. Worst spot. Yeah. That was the only free, free row. Get in, seats change. I'm like, whatever, it is what it is. I've been put in the middle. The middle. So I get put in the middle, halfway up the plane, and I'm like, all right, whatever. So I rock in, there's a guy sitting on the window. Luckily, skinny bloke. Anyone sitting next to a fat person on the plane? Worst experience of your life. It is. So I sit next to this bloke, I sit down. He's like, hey man, how are you? I'm like, good dude. Kiwi fella sitting next to me. Friendliest bloke ever, bro. Bought us all chips, lollies, snacks, chocolates for the ride. He's offering them to me. We're talking. Great. Mm. I'm sitting there, right, and I'm watching something on my phone. I can hear this, like, and I'm like, the fuck's going on here? I look to my right. An old mate from Nigeria has got his phone with his notes app open, and he's freestyling, bro. He's, he's a rapper. He's a SoundCloud rapper. So he's sitting there, and he's like, I can hear the music going. He's like, and I'm, I'm pissing. I'm losing it. I'm at this point, I'm like, my boy's going to Sydney to try and make it. He's a free, he's freestyling oh right now. God. He's rapping. And I was pissing myself, bro. And he went on for the good four and a half hours of the flight. Bro, he's putting in fucking He's putting work. in work, bro. But he's... I'm sitting there listening to him. It sounds like he's speaking to the mouse or some shit. What's, Whispering. What's your thoughts on people who sit next to you on the plane and just want to fucking talk the whole time? This is... I've literally got it written down. Oh. Because I was going to ask you. When you get on the plane, mm-hmm. it's fine. Hey, mate, how you going? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you going over to Sydney? But he continued. And I just wanted to watch my movie, man. Bro. And it was a late flight. I didn't get into Sydney until 11.40 or some shit. So it was a like, late flight. Last flight that gets into Sydney Airport, actually. Didn't shut up the whole flight. Fuck, man. I can't. I'm trying to remember now whether this was... What was the last few places I've flown to? Must have been like Brisbane or something. Or Darwin, maybe. I can't remember. It was something like that. And this whole flight back, I'm pretty sure it was Brisbane. Yeah. This guy would not stop talking to me. And it was the, the, But the thing is, the plane was that loud. He was yelling to me oh. the whole time. And I'm like, bro, 
<laughs> Fuck up, man. And it's bad when you got your headphones in. You're obviously trying yeah. to not talk to him. And, and they're I'm like, still like, oh, okay. So what are you doing over here, man? Why? And you're like, because oh. he was like, ah, oh, so like you flying back to Perth? Are you like living there? Or I was like, yeah, I live there. <laughs> And I was like, how about you, man? Like, this is the start as we're about to pull off. Like, we're about to take off. And I was like, quiet. You can have a conversation like this level. Yeah. Normal conversation. Like, yeah, I'm from Germany. I'm like, I've got family here. I've like lived over there for like 20 years. I'm coming back. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, cool, man. Nice, nice. Where, whereabouts? In the South River. Cool. Whatever. Anyway, as the plane was starting to take off, I was like, cool. Get ready to fucking take off. And then this cunt turns to me again. He starts fucking yelling. And he's like, so, <laughs> what do you do for work, man? I'm like, oh, my God. So the whole flight, man. And I'm looking it around like, fucking shit. And it's usually forced conversation. It is. It's just standard shit like, oh, what do you do for work? Where do you live? Like, why are you going on a holiday? Yeah. And when the conversation dies down, usually it's a good time to not Stop. try and revive it. Yeah. Nah. But all of a sudden, fucking they're out with the gone, fucking mate. defib. Yeah, com- he's coming in. the conversation laying like, across all three seats. There's a plus sign with an almost he's ran out the revive. He's CPR. Like, come on, man. Yeah. What do you do for work? <laughs> please, <laughs> please engage in conversation <laughs> with me. Please tell me you have family <laughs> over here. <laughs> Give me something, please. <laughs> please, man, this conversation cannot die. <laughs> please, I've been practicing. I've been watching YouTube videos of conversation. Please. <laughs> My airpods are dead. I have nothing to do for four hours. Please, I forgot to download movies on Netflix. Please, the entertainment app is not working. Bro, the Virgin Entertainment app and the Qantas Entertainment app is fucking ass, bro. It never works. Nah, it's bad. You it's always got to download. Oh, the plane's got free Wi-Fi. Yeah, to fucking Google the IP address of the plane and <laughs> yeah. that's it. You log on, it's like, sorry, network not Sorry, connected. network not available. Oh, fuck it, grind. Please plug you. in the Ethernet. And then you try and plug in the Ethernet and the plane goes down. It's fucked. Yeah, so yeah, anyway, I always I hate download download entertainment before I get on the plane. You reminded right? me to download movies when I get home before I go to Dunsborough. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I had that experience and he wouldn't shut up. And the great bloke, as I say, like I don't mind it's not the fact watch that they're bad. Listen to a bit or watch a bit and then you put something on or talk to him. But he was oh trying to be nonstop. And I felt bad because he was a great bloke. He was giving me lollies, chocolates and all that shit. So. Yeah. And I was taking him willingly. Conversation though was forced. Mm. It's the same as Ubers though. Talking like talking in Ubers. What do you reckon about that? I do you want your Uber driver to talk to you or it's not? It's always funny. Uber drivers are always fun to talk to when there's like heats of you in the car. But when, when you're, you're by yourself, when you're drunk, yeah. And but pissed, when you're by yourself great. and you're on the way home, you're like, bro, don't talk to me. Yeah. I literally got called an Uber because I just had a work function the other week on Friday, mm. and I just got an Uber and just passed out in the passenger seat the whole way home. Like, did not say a single word. Mm-hmm. He was like, Josh. I'm like, <clears throat> yep. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, <laughs> remember that one. Um, oh, because I said my address. Um, anyway, uh, what are we at? Twenty-two minutes. Yeah. So anyway, he he was trying. He just you know asked to confirm my address, and I was like, yep. And then um, just passed out, and then pulled up, and I was like, thanks, mate. Drive safe, and then left. And that was it. It's Great Uber. Like, I still remember that one Uber. I think it was at me. It was. Adam, Brady, you and me in the Uber and we're going to OVH because you had that work function, remember? Ah, uh, yep. And we're driving. Lookout. Yeah, we're look out. And we're driving. And this Uber driver, insert insert race here. <laughs> insert a, Uber driver race. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> had a crayon coloured in Indian flag just oh. fall, like stuck to the back of his window and we're driving with the windows down because we're all drunk and it's hot. Mm. Just falls on our lap. And I took everything in me. <laughs> to not laugh. I'm pretty sure I lost it. I, but there was just no context. It's the fact that I just an Indian flag just fell into our laps. We changed our group chat name, yeah. logos, but everything. it wasn't. It wasn't an <laughs> actual flag. It's like someone got a pencil, like an A4 piece of paper. Now I feel bad if it's his kid or something, and it's nice. But I don't. I Tell your kid to get like, fucking. I always feel lessons. like he drew it. <laughs> he drew it or he brew it. <laughs> that was good. That was. Good. That was good. <laughs> That was good. I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. That was actually phenomenal. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, but look, mate, I was thinking of one thing while I was walking around the city. Yep. Shoot it, buddy. People who walk in like your personal space while you're walking, mm. just like as you as you you know just strolling. There's the whole fucking footpath, right? And they're in your personal space. But they tend to just match your pace too. It's not like you. Yeah, can they're not walk trying to overtake. Yeah, no, they're just no. being 
on you, basically. It's almost as like they speed up to get to you and then they slow down. Yep, it's basically. like an overtaking lane on the freeway. It's pretty much that. Yeah, it's speed up and then they'll sit next to you. Hate it. Yeah. Hate it. And they're breathing, like, you're not here breathing, but it's like, it's awkward tension mm. that doesn't need to be there. It's the same when I used to work in retail and you talk to a customer and, like, you'd take a step away from them and they'd walk or take a step towards you yep. and they would stay, like, right next to you, pretty much breathing on you mm. as you're trying to talk to them. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking hate that. Yeah. Take a step back. Take, just literally back the fuck literally. up. Literally. a little bit. If not, there's ever an excuse lot. to fuck off, it's fucking <laughs> it's right now. Yeah. It's fucking right now, mate. Anyway. That, yeah, no, I feel that. It just really annoyed me today because I was in the city. So. City, it's, cities are always bad. Mm. Though. There's so many people around. It's man. just a lot. It's same as like when you're trying to like board a plane, yeah. and someone's right up your ass, and it's like, bro, we're both going to the same place. Mm. There is no need for me to push past Karen, Susan, Duncan, and fucking Requise in the aisle seats Absolutely that are fucking not. spilling out over the armrest yeah. <laughs> just so you can get to your seat 13 milliseconds quicker. Or the people who like when the plane's getting boarded. Yep. And they're the cunts that want to stand up straight away. Before it's even boarded. Before it's even boarded. Or the the adverse is when the plane's getting departed. Are you checking the... the then the plane's getting departed and people stand up in a hurry and the terminal's not even been, like... Yeah. The door's not even open. And I'm like, mate, I'll just sit down for longer and not stand well, up. This is what happened. I was waiting because obviously it was a late flight. Mm. Everyone was lining up, standing and waiting. And I was like, what is the point? Like, it's not going to leave without you. So I just sat... You're, I was the last to board the plane. You're still going to get to your ticketed seat. Yeah. You're still going to get a spot with the luggage. Yep. You're going to be seated for longer. Yeah. So, not... And there was a line, bro. It went, like, everyone was standing up. And I'm like, you all are fucked. I don't actually I know down. what the hurry is. Because nah. usually they also call by, like, tickets. In terms yeah, of, like, aisles 13 to 30, board now. I used to do that when I was a kid because I'd stress. Like, when I was, like, seven going on a plane flight Full for dad the first boat, time. Eh? Yeah, and then I was like, why? Mm. Um, but anyway... What else? Um, I think we spoke about having Taco Bell. We did last podcast. We did. We did. I had um, I had a a bit of a I was talking to this uh, individual talking to, talking to over in Sydney. Yep. And I we came up with something, mate. You got red flags are a no go. Yeah. Yep. Green flags are a not a turn on, but you know that's like a reason to proceed. Like yeah, okay. It's a good sign. Invented a new one. The yellow flag. Okay. Proceed with Safety caution. Car? Yeah, safety yeah. car. You safety know? car. And Slow down. What's your safety cars? What's your safety... Yeah, I like that. What is your safety car in an, in, an, in an individual? So, I came up with it. I didn't come up with it, but we're talking about it. And a, f- a few yellow flags or safety cars that come to mind. Mm. She's only friends with dudes. Has a few girlfriends, but prefers to hang out with dudes. Does she go out with dudes? Goes out with both. But likes to hang out with guys because there's less drama. And we've all seen the memes. Likes to hang out with guys because there's less drama. But there's just sausages in it. Well, I think that's a that's a stallage of a race, mate. I think that's a red flag. <laughs> that's a red flag. Yeah, I think that's a red flag. To a certain extent, mate. So she's a 10, but she only hangs out with dudes. What are we... I'm, I'm saying probably Six. a 7. Yeah, see, I'm about a 7 or an 8. I can't... Like, it's, it's not even... It's just the fact that... That's what you go on. They're gone. They, they're them with all the problems if they're only friends with guys. Mm. And I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, see, that was a bad one because that's probably more red than yellow. Mm. I'm not insecure though. I feel like if. It's not, maybe it's not. Okay, let me rephrase. Thing. I would. If they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. What's the point yeah, of worrying? They're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. But I don't think I would end up dating this individual if I've met them and they're not only friends with guys. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Yep. I'm not saying that it's a turn off. I'm just saying. Okay. Probably not going to end up dating them. All right. Because I won't be looking at them as yeah, dating not, potential. I'm, yeah, okay. So I'm not, as, I'm not as severe with that as you. Yeah. Um, you got any safety cars that come to mind? What are some safety cars I might have? Mm. Um, she's a 10, but she like vapes. Is she vapes? Is that a, That's a yellow flag. Because it's not a red flag for me. I can Depends deal with she it. She posts her vaping or not. Mm. She posts her vaping. That's a red. If Is it a red, it, really? Yeah. If she doesn't post herself vaping and she just does it because she's like... Are we talking on a night out though, or just in general? Like you wake like up at eight AM and you go out, have a coffee, and a wake plate. up and decide. Instagram vape, <laughs> no. Probably, probably, probably take that vape, shove it up your yeah, ass, leave. And just fucking call it a day. What, 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 maybe going out a lot. I'd say it's a yellow flag. I'd say it's a yellow flag. I would, hundred yeah, percent, mate. That's a great one. Mm. That's a safety car. It's, it's sort of like, I'm not like, do you? Yeah, be happy. But I don't think. Our courses are aligning because it's your your internal. But not it's goals, not. It's but not a red because it's at the start of a like, 
a relationship yep. forming. Yeah, okay. But if it's continuing, that's when it, that yellow becomes a red. It's like, you know what? Whoever's a bit treacherous, going to have to full red this one. You know, you get to know him, and if, if it doesn't look like it's going to change, and every weekend you're like, oh, I want to do something, and yeah, they're like, Michael oh, I'm Massey's, going out. Michael Massey's, Michael, Massey's, Massey's, out. Michael Massey's coming out, and he's ordering the lap cars to overtake. Yeah. Only five of them, though. Only five. Only five of them. So, yeah, okay. That's a good yeah, That's a good safety car. I like that one. Mm. Um... Nah, so that's a red flag. I've come to a realisation this is going to be really brutal. Yep. I hate hoes. Bro. Like, I can't think of a bigger turn off. If I know that you've been around and slept with a lot of people, it is the biggest turn off for me. Like, I repulse... I, I can't look at... I just can't do it. I Not one single bone in my body is turned on if I I was about to anything. say, I, I don't like... There's, there's, there's no way to justify it i just don't like it it's just fucking because everyone's got a pass yeah everyone's slept with other people which is fine but if i know that you're like trashy and easy yeah i every i, bone, I, I don't like to judge but just something in it's not consciously it's subconsciously in the back of my head something just clicks and i go like i'm not i can't yeah i can't it, look at you i don't know what it is i don't, I, I, I can agree so that's a red and flag whether it's a fucking bias or whatever whatever label it is it doesn't change what it is in terms of how i feel about it and I think girls like, are the same though. A hundred percent. Because like, if a girl found out that you slept around and spoke to anyone, they're also like, get fucked. Yeah, there is those fucked up girls that go like, yeah, oh, there's, that a, means there's it's good. in between. Yeah, but but it's like without having Snapchat, apparently that's a green flag for girls, which I'd agree with, because mm-hmm. I think Snapchat's synonymous with just receiving nudes and trying to pull girls. It's also synonymous with being like immature. Yeah, I think twelve years old. Yeah, I don't know. I think like, it's just something you'd send a random fucking like dumbass in the middle yeah. of the city like you'd be like what is this cunt doing yeah. that's pretty much the point yeah. of snapchat now yeah or yeah. like yeah I don't so know. that was a red flag not a yellow flag i had a heaps of them i was brain i was rattling them off I'm sure they'll come up as you fucking speak. yeah so that's a new thing that i've come mm. up with this we i like your analogy the safety car the safety car i'm gonna use that from now on yeah and people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's a good thing." And you're like, "Nah, brother." Yeah. Oh, the safety car. Oh, safety. No, brother. Nah. No, that's a proceed with caution. It just brings caution. the good and the bad closer together. That's a that's a match your delta pace, yeah. bunch the pack up. That's it. It's purgatory. We're in dangerous territory here. Yeah. There's a there's a hazard. It's a potential hazard. Yeah. And we're trying to avert. And there's potential to go back to green flag. Yeah. But something's got to happen here. Like if we're talking about a permit, working something's got to be cleared up. For yeah, it to be a green flag. There has to be some sort of rectifying Otherwise, action. If the problem's big enough, it's a red flag. Exactly. There has to that's, be a red. That's the perfect analogy. Exactly right. You know, it's like a it's like a permit when you're working in the mines or offshore. You know, mm. I've identified a hazard. At the moment, it's low risk. Mm. If no corrective measures are put in place, that's now a high risk. The work can't continue. There's going to be an unforeseen but if we shutdown. Are, exactly. But if we identify the risk provide mitigating measures we're now in the green we're now safe we're good to continue tonnage work can continue. continue exactly we've got multiple analogies here and we are, are fucking killing it we are what are your safety cars put it in the comments guys yeah um, or send it to the page send us send some safety to, cars send and we'll discuss. yeah send it to the instagram what are some safety cars yeah we might put it on tiktok mm, we'll just we have might. to we'll just have to cut it a bit yeah we fucking when well, I'm, I'm going to start working Monday to Thursday, 10 hour days every day to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Nice. So I'm going to endeavor because obviously you work pretty much 13 hour days at the moment. It's, it's not great. So I'm going to have to pick up the slack here and endeavor to try and get some more social media out there. So right. we'll work on it. We'll but get it done. Speaking of put it on the socials, I had a question that got sent in. Okay. If you could have anything unlimited in the world, what would it be? Anything unlimited. I'm talking like resources or skills or anything now the question begs what would it be you'd, you'd have to say you'd have to say money anything anything unlimited you're saying money gear no because anything <laughs> unlimited <laughs> what was that if you have time? unlimited money that's essentially giving you everything yeah but do you want unlimited time if you can't give that to someone else can you imagine how well, who f- said you can't give that to someone else i feel like you can't give time to someone if you you have can have all the time in the world, technically, for someone, but you can't give it to them. So you're going to see your fucking mum die, yeah, okay. your partner die, your dog die, fucking every single person Maybe in your I'm family. a psychopath and I enjoy that. You could do. Mm. But I also feel like if you've got unlimited time, you've got nothing to live for. 
So you really don't okay. have any motivation to do anything. Because you know that you're never you going to die. Oh, I've got tomorrow. Like the earth is going to blow up before I'll you die. Tomorrow. And then the earth blows up and you're just floating. Yeah. Because you've got... But how time. sick would it be you potentially float somewhere? Eventually, it's literally mathematically impossible to not end up somewhere with life. Mm. If you're floating in space. It just might be a horrendous billions of years until that happens. Can you imagine being freezing cold in space? It'd be quite cold. Yeah. But you can't die because you've got unlimited time. Yeah. So you reckon you're saying you'd go unlimited money? I think so. Anything. Well, what else could you possibly have that unlimited money wouldn't get you? <laughs> you raise a fucking good point. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't think about this. I thought it would be a deeper question. Okay, exclude money. Okay, excluding money. It's got to be a commodity. Excluding money. So I'm talking like goods. Unlimited go-karts. <laughs> Rolling? Rolling chassis? They come with engines? Mm. If I had unlimited go-karts, surely in a... Good... Does that include all consumables? Though? Well, I'm just thinking well, now about you're limited like, the amount of the... time I have to, to practice, but I don't have the funding to enter race events if I'm only just practicing on go-karts. And then you've got a so you've got a to two one. stroke fuel fuel tires. You only get yeah. unlimited go karts. We're not yeah. talking about consumables here. Yeah, maybe the consumables of go karts, but you can only choose one. I don't know. Unlimited Yeezys. <laughs> and you mean unlimited uh, Tims? Hey. Unlimited Tims. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're still wearing Tims, Tims to this day. <laughs> yeah. You fucking need to have a good. I heart can't look believe at Tims are a thing. Yeah. You remember, yeah. like, for, uh, surely the audience knows Timberlands, like the work boot looking motherfuckers that, like, every African American in America <laughs> wore <laughs> with skinny jeans. Oh, my, the skinny blue jeans with Tim's, bro. I was having this conversation with Hamish. You look like a Lego fucking character. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, looks like on. a meme gun. Yeah. I was talking to Hamish the other day, and, like, obviously, the, the fashion trends change, you know? Five years ago, skinny jeans were everything. Mm. And now it's like baggies. Yeah. And he's Hamish has just made the uh, the switch over. He started to wear the baggy stuff, and he's going, "Oh, I started with something a little bit baggy, and now he's he's wearing like how I'd wear it, like really baggy jeans. Yeah. They're just so comfortable. Yeah, they are just so. And I used to hate jeans because they were just purely you couldn't move in them. Yeah. But now they're just comfortable. It used to be oversized shirts and skinny jeans. Remember that? Yeah. Oversized shirts, skinny jeans. Now it's like. And then I swear it went through a stage though where it was like tight tops. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's sort of like I wear oversized tucked into oversized pants sort of. Yeah. Which I, I, I like sometimes. that. Looks good. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. But it's crazy because apparently fashion does like a three, like it just keeps going in a reel. Yeah, dude. Mullets used to be a thing fucking 20 years ago. Yeah, like it just back. keeps going. It's like long hair, then buzz cuts. Like it's just honestly a never ending cycle, just reinventing the wheel. It's actually crazy how much shit changes. Like I was looking back through photos um, when I was in Sydney and um, she was like, oh my God, you look like a fucking different person with no short hair. I need to show you something. And I'm keep like, going. bro, I looked like a different person with yeah. short hair. Dude, I I swear I've changed like even the last 10 months. I can't alone. imagine myself with short oh, hair now. If I can't find this photo in like the next fucking... Oh, bro, you're going to... F- can you say that to me so I can input it right there? All so right. everyone knows that we're laughing at you? Because that's horrendous. <laughs> That's worse than your bean <laughs> the CVC ID photo. That's fucked. I'll send you the CVC ID photo too. This fucking photo was of me, oh, um, probably year eleven. Was that year eleven? No way, cunt. It was. I remember because I. It was either year eleven or year twelve, bro. Fucking terrible, horrific. I just look back and I'm like, what horrific. the fuck were we thinking? I, I'm actually dude, ashamed. But I said this two years ago that I cringe at myself from earlier, and then I cringe at myself from two years ago. And I think it's never ending going to be me self-loathing because I genuinely think, what the fuck was I thinking? Probably the very first podcast we did, we'd probably look back at a bit of it now and be like, what the fuck? Well, I look back, and this is this is really crazy. So I look back and I'm like, bro, the fuck was happening with my hair? What Dude. the fuck was I wearing? And then like, old mate in Sydney was like, like I loved that like you looked hot there. And I'm like, unequivocally, no. Hideous. Shut the fuck up. Hideous. I look so bad. It looks like just Roadrunner spec. Bro, it was fucked. And it mine was... was fucked. I, I, you had blonde hair at one yeah, point, then you went blonde. fucking If I put my hair, hair blonde, if you my hair was fucking hair? piano. If my hair was blonde now, I'd be fucked. I'm actually starting to like this again. Now yeah, that's no. getting trimmed. It goes getting... to a stage, man. Yeah. Like, uh, like You're at a stage now where like, if you really wanted to make it look like, it would look like you didn't have a mullet. You could just have long yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. A few weeks ago, I fucking hated my hair. Yeah. I was literally staring at my fucking clippers when I was shaving my face, and I was like, mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to do see, it. See, I kind of thought about going short hair again, but I can't imagine. I, like, you can see the mullets. 
obviously it's been there, maintained. but it's not there. Yeah. But like it's because I can now get rid of it and it looks like I don't have a mullet. Yeah. But um, just but something about not having to do anything at all with a buzz up, cut. Good, just it's just it, you just go through those so stages. Easy. You'll you'll probably hate it even more in summer because you'll be hot too. Yeah, dude, I was sleeping yeah. with this man. The heat. It's so warm. Yeah. Oh my god. And like when it gets to that stage where it starts getting frizzy because of the heat, and then it's just kind of there, and it's really. And you wash your on. hair, and it's the worst thing ever. But it all goes away when you jump in like the beach, and you can yeah. like shake your hair around, and, and all of a sudden you feel like slapping sexy it out. as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be jacked, man. I was at um. <laughs> I went. At... <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm actually on a bit of a diet at the moment. I've actually dropped a few kilos. I'm good feeling pretty you. good. You're looking good, mate. Yeah, I'm walking every day. I'm mm. getting about 15,000 steps in at the moment every day. Really? I did 9,000 steps today before I started work. The competition I walked, is on. I walked, Are you, we're going to have a... I we're gonna have five a, and a half Ks. We're going to have a Google set, Drive. Let's set it up. Let's we'll set do it a up. Google Drive. Yep. Yeah, okay. Workouts. We'll have a green box for every time we train. Gym. Yep. And we tick it. Steps. Yep. Do you Calori- cardio on there? Calories eaten. Calories eaten. And okay. run-ins. All right. We'll go for a run. I mean, it's there? pretty hard in winter because like, I'm not running in the rain. Yeah, I walked today and it was raining. I'm not bad. I'm not running in the rain. Yeah. But um, I had this... Um, I went out for dinner the other night with Evan. Mm-hmm. We went to Nando's in Canning Vale. Mm-hmm. Fucked. So busy. So we're like, all right, we'll drive Nando's in Coburn. Coburn, Nando's slaps. Closed. Oh. At 7.30, closed. Ran out of chicken, probably. I don't know what it was. So we're like, all right, we'll go... I'm going to mute that because I don't want to throw this 41 minutes I don't, I don't want to throw him under the bus here but we're sitting in the booth right and um something caught the corner of my eye and I'm like what the fuck I'm talking to Ev and I look over fucking master splinter oh biggest master splinter I'm talking this bro so he's he's been training he's, the Ninja Turtles he's my fucking retired six generations in that roof oh my he's kids 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 and grandkids it's basically kids. a wombat <laughs> Honestly, a wombat. Yeah, a womrat, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Falls down this pillar, oh. lands on this booth, and just goes under the fucking the benches. Did you leave? So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, fuck. So I get up, and I'm like, Evan's losing it, because I'm like, fucking Master Splinter cunt. So Evan gets up, and I get up, and this, I'm staring at the lady in Nando's, and she's holding a plate of food. <laughs> and I'm like looking there, and she's like, "What's your problem? Like, what's wrong? What's wrong?" And I'm like, "Oh, like a fucking, like a, a, a fucking." Cr- a, and she's like, "A rat?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, yeah, all good, no worries. I'm sorry about that." And I'm like, "What? Come, that rat would have eaten me, bro." Oh. And she just acted like it was another thing. Oh, that's just fucking yeah. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, he's just coming yeah. out like, oh no, nah. <laughs> he's on, he's on fucking fifty percent custody. He's. That rat's fucking he paying pays taxes. Rent. He's he paying pays rent. <laughs> he's paying. He's that's fucked. He's actually the landlord. Yeah, like he owns the place. Sorry, he's actually just checking in the customer. Probably account. legit though. That's fucked. She just watched. She just oh, didn't care. Was that a rat? Oh no, that's all good. Sorry about that. And Sorry I'm about like, that. It's been here for the last fucking. I'm about five to months. report you to the fucking. I'm about to get HSE on you. FDA cunt. If you don't give me free nanos for a year, you can. That's if you've got a rat the PTSD. size of my leg in your roof, there is rats. There is thirty rats up there living. There's a colony up there. It's, They've got the fucking Burj Khalifa yeah. going up if there. If that fucking, if that rat is that big, there's got to be like a whole living situation like, there. If he's that big at that point, his family has got a time condo. zones. He's got a condo. Like they <laughs> fucking, they have got he, a Heathrow airport in that now. <laughs> honestly, he lives at the a penthouse of an apartment. Like honestly, that bro's, bro's gambling at the crown. Bro, I'm talking like this big, like black thing just fell down and went vroom. And I'm like, fucked. Yeah, and then I I'm would feel there. physically sick. Well, I sat there and Ev's like, that's not right. And I'm like, dude, I don't feel well. If that hits my foot, cunt, this table's getting flipped and I'm fighting everyone in this fucking venue. But this, then, yeah. a family of about eight sat in the booth where the rat was hiding. And me and Evan are just laughing. And I'm like, please come out, please come out, please come out, please come out. Didn't. But I'm just like, I'm holding you to ransom. Bro, I'm about to lodge a report right now. Jesus Christ. Huge, bro. Mm. Could have eaten my leg off. Oh, if he had, if he came up to the table, I'd give him my Nando's. Yeah. Like that. Honestly. He could have chewed to the metal table leg. It was fucked. Yeah, fucking Jesus Christ. It was honestly, astoundingly big. Well, yeah. Fucking Jesus. Speaking of food. Yep. Um, We obviously, as, as you said, we got we got Taco Bell last week. Underwhelming. But it was I okay. I say underwhelming. The burrito was nice. The burrito was good. The crunch wrap was, was shit. fucking AIDS. Don't get a crunch wrap. The crunch wrap is literally just steak with no seasoning or sauce. And a Dorito in a wrap. Yep. And it's like... I want to try their beef. Because they were out of the beef when I was mm. there. I want to go give it another go. The burrito was actually pretty good. Chicken burrito, mm. but I reckon the beef's going to be better. Mm. So I want to try the burrito. Beef it got burrito. me thinking. Yep. Crunchy versus soft tacos, mate. 
Soft. I had this. I, I didn't actually have an argument with her over in Sydney because she agreed with me. Soft all the fucking way. Soft all the way. If you have hard tacos, you are fucking weird. You honestly, you were just weird. Hard tacos went out in two thousand and one. You probably still chew with your mouth open. Questionably, they were never in. Questionably, they were never in. Not question. There is no question about it. Yeah. You it's know what the best invention ever in the food industry? Standard stuffed tacos. Yes. The soft ones. Those little, little like, boats. Yeah, little dude, boats. They look Elite. phenomenal. I've never actually had them. What? Neither had she. And I'm like, where have you been living, bro? We just, you just tight wrap that shit. That taco sauce that comes with the El Paso kit. Good. Slap. It's so good. Slap. I get so disappointed when it runs out because there's never enough sauce for the mince ratio. Yeah, because they say use like 500 grams of kilo. They use like a fucking teaspoon yeah, like, of it. Y- Keep, and that's fuck it. off, no. bro. I'm fucking... Um, yeah. That I'm packet's gone on one. in the wrap. Exactly. Yeah. If I, I could, I would. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I actually, if you, you like hard You need to sell that taco, taco sauce They do. They do. You can buy jars of it. Nah, it's not the same. It is the same. I, mm. You know what? Let's we'll This weekend, look. we're going to get a we'll soft... Look. We're going to get a... We'll have a taco We'll have a taco Sunday. off. Have you tried the crispy chicken burritos that they do? They slap. Crispy mm. chicken tacos. Oh, yeah. They yeah, slap. they're good. They're good. I just... Yeah, hard tacos, fucking... Yeah, but is it because of the taste, or the is, it, is it the fact... <laughs> no, it's messy, bro. Why did this sound like a car going that's past 100? Like... You have this little fucking boat thing like this. But that's what I'm saying. Is it? Is it... <laughs> what do you sound and like? And it's all fucking you falling apart. You got, if I was playing Minecraft right now... You got CCs right fucking going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> if I was playing Minecraft right now, and I'm digging through the sand with a shovel, that's what you just sounded like. <laughs> Anyway, gravel is falling yeah, on me. I'm, fucking I'm in the cave. I'm flint. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, well, those silverfish are coming out of the gravel. I'm mm. getting fucked. Oh, man. There's a spider behind me in the biggest cave we've ever found I, in our life. Just quietly, I don't know if we said this before, we played fucking Minecraft and we decided that it would be a smart idea to play on hard and set up a base in the middle of a fucking cave where as soon as you walk <laughs> out the door, it's there's like 90 fucking skeletons with apparently fucking aimbot. Yeah. <laughs> they don't miss. They do not miss. got fucking Kenny S from fucking CSGO <laughs> playing for Fnatic. Not Fnatic. Who did he play for? Dignity. I don't fucking remember, uh, actually. Envy. Big on Envy. He played for Envy. Doesn't matter. Point being, we got Kenny S with a fucking sniper in the form of a skeleton headshotting us as soon as we get out. And then you've got the spiders. <laughs> Just quietly, if you got that Kenny S reference, you're a fucking goat. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But see, this is my thing, though. Are you it's opposed mm. to hard tacos because of the taste or the fact that they are purely the messiest things you've ever eaten in your life? The latter. You can never eat a hard taco neatly. There's two things that are that messy, and it's Zamboros and hard tacos. A unprepped anal sex. Even then. <laughs> Even hard then. Hard tacos are Hard tacos are it. definitely messier. It's just like, if you're like, look, fellas, if you take... Unless you've had tacos and then unprepped anal sex. In that case, I'm fucking not helping you. <laughs> and you've had the hot mint seasoning and extra hot fucking salsa. Oh, bro, I couldn't think of anything. Unprepped anal sex is going down. I feel like, fellas, if you're going to take a girl to a date, right? She likes Mexican. You take her to fucking Pancho's or whatever it is. Don't get a taco, bro. Because you can't look good eating a taco. You just can't. You can't. Soft taco, yes. Because you can, like, you, you can know, maneuver it. Eat it. Get that. Hard taco. There's nothing. Oh, that hurt. Yeah. It sounded like it hurt. You can't eat a hard taco appealing. Not at all. It's Especially impossible. The <laughs> um, but we wanted to eat an overcooked tortilla, Dorito, if you miss. An obcc. I used to hate obesity. 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 I used to hate um like um just a plain flavored Doritos. But as oh, I've grown older, no. there's nah. no fucking maturing, mate. That Dude, is not they good. are good. They're fucking they gross. They slap, bro. This bro, between original CCs and original fucking crisps. Original crisps don't belong anywhere yeah. in life. But original C, I'm telling you, bro. No. I tell you what. We're going to get some fucking taco seasoning and some normal plain CCs Doritos. And I'm telling you, bro. You'll be like, he's got a point. It's uh, we're taking $10 for things that won't point. happen. Um, By the way, mate, we're at 49 minutes. Okay, and I'm about to say I need to go soon. So, yeah. quickly, toasted or not toasted Subway? Toasted. Toasted all the way? Sometimes I just randomly don't have a toasted. You fucking psychopath, mate. Only because I'm impatient. So sometimes I'm like, I really can't wait. Well, I mean, the other night at Subway, cunt, you ordered out the entirety of their chicken schnitzel packet. Bro, when she started packing she it. She could barely fold with, that bro, motherfucker. As, soon, as I said double, I was like, oh, that'd be like, what, like an extra fucking one. And then extra I two. that you used two four? schnitzels. Yeah. And then she was like, st- but first of all, she could have fucking stacked that differently, I swear. Oh, I don't know, bro. She stood there for a hot minute figuring out how to stack yeah. it. Yeah. And, I'm I, and I was watching like, her and I was like, you're a dick. 
why did I do that? And I was like, that's a lot of chicken. You could have had negative 100 salad and she still wouldn't have been out of yeah, clothes. Yeah, no, that was a big mistake. Don't that do was that a again. thick boy. It was. It was but I didn't sick. like the way she put like one layer of schnitzels and then just two random schnitzels. Yeah. Surely you cut them again the way, and then you like, lay them across. That's what I'm saying, bro. Because that way. You could have just had four full schnitzels. And just gone two, two. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would have been evenly spread. Now all of a sudden, I'm, you're biting into a subway. Single layer, single layer. All of a sudden... Yeah, dude, I literally had to go full anaconda, dislocate my jaw to get around to get halfway that through the foot long. It's fucked. And I can deep throw the foot long. I have, I been, don't have, I a gag have seen this. So I can deep throw the foot long. I have seen this. But you put a double stencil in there? Gone. Mm. Being ran. Speaking of fast food, once again. Oh, no. Yep. I was watching TMG's podcast and they brought up a very, very valid point. Yep. It is really easy to steal food. Oh, yeah. With door like as a like in this era of DoorDash, you literally just have to walk in, be like, oh, "I got a fucking order," and then you just look at one of the names, be like, "Mark," and just take take it. Mm. What's stopping you? Nothing. Nothing. Do they sign? You. Do they have to look? At your, I swear no. they have to look at your phone though. They don't though. They they're in Are that much sure? of a hurry. You walk in rush hour. You're like, oh, I'm gonna walk. I've got an Uber walk across an Endo and test this? Just watch and see. I reckon we do a video idea here. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll get the wearable we'll get mics on and we'll say, away. yeah, we'll like, like, look, stealing food from de- like delivery day. Mm. But even easier, mate, you get the food, one item wrong, say a whole order's wrong, refund. Mm. Like, remember that time we were yeah. big job on the trailer? Yeah. We ordered Huge Nando's. That I got one of my items and none of the rest. Yeah, but to be fair, that's fucked. Yeah, but I got a full refund for that whole order and then I ordered another one. Yeah. You had all your food. I had one of my and food. And you saved the money. I got sixty dollars back in Nando's credit, and I spent twenty three dollars on a boy. So, you can do that. Use it wisely. We're not advocating stealing. Yeah, don't do it if you don't. Just have know to do that it. you can request the refund if you've not gotten the right Uber Eats. The amount of times I've ordered a fucking Coke or an Ice Long Black or something on Uber Eats, and I've not been given a fucking Who the straw. Fuck ordered Shut a the coffee fuck up. on Uber Eats. A cunt. straw. I have not received a fucking straw. Yellow. That's a safety car. He's a 10, but he orders coffee on Uber Eats. Get the fuck okay, out of my face. Okay, so if I've got... You're co- disgusting. I was at home fucking isolating while I was waiting for You're COVID disgusting, results. You're disgusting, I ordered a fucking breakfast. Can I get... Just quietly, a, it sucked. Milk cappuccino on Uber Eats. Shut fuck the off, fuck up. Raj anyway, Mahal was rocking is, up with a half spilled cappuccino. We got the lukewarm. the Mumbai mercenary rocking up. <laughs> fucking... Dude. I've ordered Cokes. The and they've had no. They've had no fucking... <laughs> New Delhi Ninja. Ah. The Delhi Deliverer. <laughs> the Sri Lankan suspect. The Pakistani performer. <laughs> the, the Mumbai menace. The Indian investigator. <laughs> the Mumbai mercenary. <laughs> Alright, racism aside. <laughs> um, Cokes, not coming with straws, mate. Up your game. What? Um, what do you mean? I've ordered before oh, and, like, on Uber Eats and they've just not come with straws. And I'm like, what the you're fuck? You're the type of guy to drink your coffee through a straw, cunt. <laughs> so you grab an ice long black and you're like... <laughs> like that. No, you're fucking with not. With the Don't lid on, bro. <laughs> with the lid on, I'm like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, muzz buzz You're the fucking vortexing it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. And then, look, another one. I was thinking. Yep. Two random objects. Let's say... Pillow and a table. Mm-hmm. What's the more manly object and what's the more female object? <laughs> table, cunt. Table? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Okay. You imagine me walking out with a table on my shoulder. Okay. Fish or sandal? Oh, am I wearing the fish or am I holding it? It's just two objects. They're both in front of you. A fish and a sandal. <laughs> fish. Fish and a thong. Thong, because I'm confident in my masculinity. I'm not talking about a G-string here, Oh, mate. fish. Laptop. Yep. Or a bowling ball. He's either good at eating pussy or he's good at bowling. You can't be both, so I'm going to go bowling. Ah, okay, <laughs> obviously, obviously. All right, one more, one more. Light switch. Or the left rear light of a Mitsubishi Mirage. <laughs> left rear light of a Mitsubishi <laughs> Mirage. Yeah. Speaking of like saying. manly, mm. did I tell you, um, 
I got abused not long ago. Oh, a Shout out Pride ago. Round for Manly. That was a bit of a fuck show, but that's just... It was. <laughs> it was. Yeah, seven people just boycotted <laughs> the game. I um About a month and a month and a bit ago, I think I told you this, I had someone come over mm. and I got abused for being gay. Because you had... Because I had a candle. Mm. I'm pretty proud of my room. My room is... Metac- every day I wake up, I it's shake ridiculous. my sheets down, my pillows down, my quilt, I make my bed... I take anything out that doesn't need to be. I make sure my clothes are hung up. Spotless. Like, my room is my sanctuary. Got the plants going. I usually light a candle when I get home because I like to smell good. Got called a homosexual. Got questioned multiple times as to whether I was gay. And I'm like, because I have pride in my room. You know, I come to a realisation that I feel like girls think questioning sexuality is, like, just funny. Yeah, and it's not. I don't think it, like, it's genuinely not funny as in, like, ah, it's not funny, it's insulting. It's like... Just not, like, it's not needed. Like, stop at one, you know? Yeah. First one's okay. After that, it's just Are like, you gay? No. Don't keep asking me. Yeah. Like, oh, well, you've got that. And I'm like, because you're used to hooking up with fucking Kyle. Who smells like AIDS. Who smells like no AIDS got... Kyle. <laughs> By the way. Because you're a great bloke. Yeah. You just be letting, you just be ripping ass on prep. <laughs> on but podcast. other than that. <laughs> yeah, because on the podcast. Up with Kyle. He's got one pillow, no quilt. It's fucking orange. Fucking no bedside table. And he actually, his, his bed is under the patio. He's got a Rexona can that he's filled up with water because he's run out of deodorant. And when he sprays the Rexona can, he holds a lighter in front of it. Yeah. Just because you've been hooking up with absolute bums, cunt. Don't be coming around to some fucking... Like, it's just... Yeah. If you don't like it, go home. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I just... You know? Toxic... Not toxic masculinity, but, you know, everyone's like, oh, you guys guys in touch with their feminine... I wouldn't say I'm feminine, but, like, I, I have pride in my room. Absolutely. You spend a lot of your time in your room. Absolutely. Don't call me gay. I am a bit gay. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway. Happy. Very happy today. Candle or... This is the last one to finish on, by the way. Candle or... Make it a good one. The last known record of... Amy Winehouse. No, I'm trying... I can't think of their name. What's the, the band that everyone hates? The last known record of Saving Me by Nickelback. <laughs> oh, Saving Me is definitely manlier. It's fucking slap. And on that note... On that note, guys. We'll see you sometime Thanks soon. for watching. Episode 24 in the books. It's been a good one, actually. Lock it in. Lick the stamp. Lick the stamp and send it, as Danny Rick would saying. And hopefully we don't see him at Alpine next year. But if no, we do, we do. Knows. Thanks again.